This video is for MEL3. First, you open the software in Skate by finding it. And you press File, Open, and look for where you have downloaded the file. Rename the file to your register number, running boys, underscore your name. Click once and open. You will see the 10 grams. And we are ready to edit. You can press Ctrl scroll to zoom in closer. And once you click on the 10 grams is actually all grouped. So you have to either press object ungroup or control U. So once you have ungrouped, it's time to adjust the shapes by moving, rotating, flipping, or arranging all the shapes to look like the the one shown in page 14 of your workbook. I'll be now showing you how to arrange all these pieces. I notice that the triangles are used for the body. So you click once to select it and click second time to rotate. You do not need to worry about using the space out of the paper because later on you can resize everything. Click one more time. To rotate this parallelogram. Okay, notice that it actually clips to the triangle, so it's good to actually go to the right side of the software to disable the snapping. Okay, now it's easier to move it. And for this parallelogram, we need to flip. So after selecting the parallelogram, you press flip horizontally. Continue to look at what you want and arrange the pieces. Now this is the second bigger triangle which is going to go to the left side and I need to click one more time to rotate it so that you look like this. Now it is a bit big to me so I will need to reduce the size by selecting it and to resize proportionally you must click the corner handle. Next is this triangle which is going to be the the shoe of the running man. Okay, I'm going to place it here. Next, I'll work on this triangle. Same thing, select it twice to in order to rotate. And I'll place it here. Finally, is the head. And I feel that I should en enlarge and place it on top of the big triangle. Now I'm going to press Ctrl scroll to look at it. And I think I'm done with it except for the shadow. So before you create a shadow, you need to group everything together. So from afar, 
draw a rectangle and everything will be selected. You can press Object, Group or Control G. Now, to make a shadow, you have to du duplicate by pressing Edit, Duplicate or Control D. So now, let me press Control D and immediately I'll have one more same shape. Okay, so to scale this, I will have to click a second time and use this scale button. I'll drag all the way matching to what is requested in the page itself. Now I think this will do and I will have to make it grey color. Okay, and I think it's slightly too big. I'm going to click elsewhere and select again to resize it. I think this is okay. Okay, I have to place it here. I want to place it here. But you realize that it's actually in front of the colorful man. The shadow has to be behind. So in order to do this right, either press this button to lower your selection to bottom or this button to send it to to the back or press page down on your keyboard. Finally, you have to, before you submit, you have to group everything together. Press Ctrl G to group it easily. Okay, now you realize that your entire drawing is out of the paper. So you need to resize and put it into your paper. Okay, at the end of it, I want each of you to click A for text and write down your name. Class and today's date. Okay, so how do we save? Because we have saved it earlier on as register underscore running voice underscore name. So now you have to go to file, save it one more time, or press Ctrl S. Okay, now it has been saved in the vector graphic format. Before you can submit, you have to export it to the Rapster graphic format. So press File, Export PNG image. In this window, you have the same name of your file dot png which is a Rapster graphic format so you can choose it as page and now you press export one time 